After more than a decade of tireless campaigning by families of the missing, UN member states have voted to establish a new international institution. This move is a huge triumph for victim and family groups who have spent more than 12 years searching for answers. نأمل إنه أن تؤدي هذه المؤسسة الأممية دورها في كشف مصائر المفقودين وهذا سيكون أعظم نتيجة يمكن أن تحصل عليها العائلات. Today, over 100,000 remain forcibly disappeared in Syria. The majority detained by Assad's regime, others abducted by ISIS and other armed groups. In 2021, victim and family groups came together to form the Truth and Justice Charter, a joint roadmap for justice. The first step was to reveal the truth about the disappeared. Since then, Syrian families and activists have knocked on every door possible to demand action. They held meetings with government and UN officials, calling for a centralized international body to gather data, determine whereabouts of the disappeared, and support families. حراك العائلات حراك نحو الحقوق ممكن يثمر نتائج مهمة. على من الأمهات والعائلات عدم معرفة مصير أبنائهم هو مثله مثل التعذيب ويمكن أكثر. أنا اليوم منيح بقدر وقف بقدر أمشي أمي لليوم مريضة وتعبانة بسبب هدول ثلاث سنين اللي كانت عم تبحث عني. Their efforts were backed by the UN Secretary General in a landmark report. I commend the courageous work of Syrian family, victim and survivor associations and other civil society groups together with the efforts of many international bodies to chart a path forward. Guided by their views and advice, my report on last August outlined the framework for a solution. We stand in awe of the bravery of these activists. Their efforts set a powerful example of solidarity advocating for their causes. Creating this institution brings hope to the families of the missing, offering a chance for answers on their long journey to truth and justice. Share this video to support the right of families of the disappeared to the truth.